for the Enterprise soars high with fast action, special effects, good humor, and a solid storyline that reunites all the familiar faces of the 23rd century. The five-year mission of the Starship Enterprise is now in its 16th year, which means that Admiral Kirk, he was promoted from captain, is facing a midlife crisis. Ah, but no time for taking up jogging and est in space, not when there's a lunatic named Khan left over from the 20th century chasing Kirk halfway across the heavens. And quicker than you can say Trekkie, Kirk is back on active duty, asking Spock if he can take back the command of the Enterprise. Commanding a starship is your first best destiny. Anything else is a waste of material. Along the way, the Enterprise takes a direct hit. Score one for Khan. But middle-aged or not, Kirk, Spock, Scotty, and Dr. McCoy still have enough fight left to show the younger space cadets a thing or two. Sulu, divert all power to phasers. Too late. Hang on! William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, and all the Enterprise regulars have never been better. But Ricardo Montalban playing Khan should send the hair and wardrobe people into exile on Fantasy Island for making him look like a female impersonator. He really is more silly than ominous. And there's a domestic squabble between Kirk and his first wife that's better left to the soap operas. But best of all, there's an ending that suggests that there really will be a Star Trek III. Long live the Enterprise.